Hey everyone, Jay Whitner here with Space Headlines. We do a quick summary of what's going on in space each week. And today we're going to be talking about the first week of February 2019. Our first story is commercial crew and more specifically Boeing's entrance in the commercial crew race, the Starliner. The news is, is the test flight of Starliner, the uncrewed flight, has been rescheduled for April. The flight profile is, is that the, the capsule that's going to launch on Atlas V, it's going to go up and rendezvous with the space station, it's going to dock with the space station, then it's going to undock, re-enter, and land. All this is preparatory to the first crewed flight, which is currently scheduled for August or September of this year. SpaceX is in the news again, this time for their Raptor engine. This is a, a methane engine, SpaceX's first methane engine. It's going to be the, the rocket engine that powers the two components of the BFR rocket, the first stage, which is called the Super Heavy, and the second stage, which is called the Starship. The, the news is, is that in testing, the Raptor engine is already meeting the thrust requirements for BFR to work. And the especially good news is, is that for actual flight conditions, they will be using supercooled uh, propellants for the rocket, which they estimate will increase the thrust by 10%. So they're looking at, uh, at a nice amount of margin in the engine thrust for, uh, for the Raptor engine to power the BFR. In broader news about BFR, SpaceX is taking steps to simplify things, to, to streamline things so that the rocket can go into service more rapidly. The high profile things are the shift from carbon fiber skin to stainless steel. There's a lot of advantages to this. Stainless steel is far less expensive than carbon fiber. It's more robust, uh, stronger, will last longer and it's better with the extreme temperatures that the, the BFR will experience, ranging from uh, really, really cold to really, really hot. Also, they're going to simplify things by having one type of engine. They had previously planned to have a Raptor engine that was optimized for vacuum conditions, and another engine that was optimized for basically launch conditions. So now they want to have a single engine which streamlines development, testing, manufacturing, and so forth. The United Launch Alliance won a nice NASA contract. This is for the Lucy mission. This is a flyby of several asteroids, one main belt asteroid and half a dozen Trojan asteroids. This mission will launch in 2021 from Florida. So congrats to ULA. There's a, a new startup called Momentus. What they're offering is in-space transportation services. So they want to, to move satellites from one orbit to another. And this is going to be focused on small satellites. Basically, the, the maximum size satellite that they can accommodate would be in the five, 600 pound range. They're going to be able to move things around in low Earth orbit. And they're also going to be able to move things from low Earth orbit up into geosynchronous orbit. The pricing is currently very reasonable. Um, all their services apparently are priced at $5 million or less, which by space standards is, is quite affordable. And the timeline is, is quite aggressive. They're saying that they can begin operations next year and that they can, that'd be the, the movements within LEO next year. And in 2021, they'd be able to move things from uh, low Earth orbit up to geosynchronous orbit. So exciting news. And, and by the way, it's water plasma is the, the thrust mechanism that they're going to use at Momentus. So good luck to them. This uh, may be an example of the very first space tug. Ariane Space had a nice launch the first of the year. They launched an Ariane 5. Uh, into orbit, put uh, two satellites up. One was for India, one was for Saudi Arabia. And they're planning to do a dozen launches this year. And they want to keep doing uh, 
you know, as much international business as they can. They, they recently announced uh, a reduction in their pricing to try to compete more with, uh, with SpaceX pricing. So uh, congrats to Ariane Space on their first launch of the year. That's our coverage for the first week of February 2019. Hope you enjoyed our show. Check back with us in a week or so, and we'll be talking about uh, what's happening in week number two. Take care.